My name is Philip Albrecht and I'm a professor of neurology and consultant neurologist at the Heinrich Heine University in Düsseldorf, Germany. And it's my great pleasure to introduce Michael Dietrich, who is a postdoc in my laboratory and who will talk to you about our paper on the protective effects of 4-aminopyridin in multiple sclerosis and optic neuritis, which has recently been accepted for publication in Brain. Multiple sclerosis is an inflammatory autoimmune disorder which involves demyelination, loss of oligodendrocytes, axonal damage and eventually degeneration of neurons in the central nervous system as the disease progresses. 4-aminopyridin, or 4-AP in short, is an oral potassium channel blocker and is used in license as a symptomatic treatment to ameliorate ambulatory disability in MS. The presumed mode of action is as follows. When the action potential is initiated, depolarization spreads forward in the healthy axons. The myelin promotes the rapid impulse transmission. In MS, demyelination causes dampening of the saltatory signal transduction. In demyelinated axons, 4AP blocks the axonal voltage-gated potassium channels, thereby enhancing conduction and improving motor skills, walking ability and walking speed. The examination of the visual pathway as part of the central nervous system has been proven to be an effective starting point in addressing neurologic questions. We used mock peptide-induced experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis, EIE, or optic neuritis, an animal model for MS, as well as optic nerve crush as a non-inflammatory approach to investigate the protective potential of 4AP. We applied in vivo optical coherence tomography, OCT, optokinetic response, as well as histology, organotypic slices and cell culture techniques to examine these effects. Additionally, we performed a retrospective multicenter OCT study to longitudinally compare retinal neurodegeneration between 52 patients on continuous 4AP therapy and 51 match controls. In the EAE, 4AP attenuated the clinical score as well as the degeneration of the inner retinal layers and the visual functions. This effect was potentiated by a prophylactic immunomodulatory therapy with fingolimod. The retinal degeneration was nicely mirrored by the loss of retinal ganglion cells in the course of the EAE. After starting 4-AP therapy at different time points, the drug also attenuated the clinical disability after withdrawal. This was again reflected by the retinal layer degeneration. In the optic nerve crush, 4-AP protected from ganglion cell loss whereas fingolimod did not. After culturing retinal ganglion cells, we concluded that 4-AP is probably not directly acting on neurons. When we stained the optic nerve of EIE mice for microglia and C3 positive tear cells, we found that in contrast to fingolimod, 4-AP had no primary anti-inflammatory effects, but prevented demyelination during prophylactic therapy. This was confirmed by transmission electoral microscopy, where we found an improved myelin axon ratio of 4AP treated EIE mice, and after toxic demyelination with GSNO, 4AP protected from myelin loss. These findings suggested a protective effect on oligodendroglial cells, which was substantiated by the protection of mouse and rat oligodendrocyte precursor cells after glutamate induced stress. A calcium influx in these cells promoted a translocation of NFAT, possibly by the NFAT calcineurin pathway. In the OCT based retrospective study with human patients, the thickness reduction in the macular RNFL was greater in the control group over the course of 12 and 24 months than in the 4AP treated group. The macular GCIPL thickness reduction after 12 months was different from the baseline thickness in 4AP patients. However, after 24 months, there was no significant difference between these groups. In addition to its well-established symptomatic effects for aminopyridin, indeed has neuroprotective effects in experimental optic neuritis, which add on to the beneficial effects of a standard immunomodulatory therapy with fingolimod, and also has protective effects in optic nerve crush as a model of non-inflammatory axonal damage. The mode of action of these protective effects seem to involve stabilization of myelin and oligodendroglial cells. 
In multiple sclerosis patients treated with 4-aminopyridine, we found less degeneration of the macular retinal nerve fiber layer compared to matched MS patients. Thank you for your interest and many thanks to all collaborating partners.